हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू टू दिस इंग्लिश क्लास व्हाट डू यू सी ऑन स्क्रीन अ डॉग यस कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज इट्स नेम इट मे बी जैक यस इट इज जैक यू सी हियर नाउ आई विल सिंग ए राइम एंड यू सिंग विथ मी यू सी दिस इज माय डॉग इट्स नेम इज जैक दिस इज माय डॉग इट्स नेम इज जैक its coat is white and eyes are black this is my dog its name is jack its coat is white and eyes are black yes have you seen dogs yes you have seen dogs they are moving inside streets yes they are street dogs do you have dogs at home do some of your friends have dogs yes so today we will study a fine poem regarding dogs you see dogs you see dogs here so many dogs are there big dog thin dog tall dog so many types of dogs are there yes today we will have this poem i will read this poem for you you close your books and listen me fast the dogs i know have many sets some are big and tall some are long and some are thin and some are fat and small and some are so thin that they seem to have no sap at all yes again yes again i will read for you to listen carefully closing your books the dogs i know have many sets some are big and tall some are long and some are thin and some are fat and small and some are so thin that they seem to have no sap at all yes now you open your book and try to read with me yes get ready the dogs i know have many saps some are big and tall some are long and some are thin and some are fat and small some are so thin that they seem to have no sap at all yes this poem is written by mg shoot an american poet now students we will discuss this poem the dogs i know have many sets some are big and tall you see the dogs i know have many sets the dogs you see the dogs are of many sets you see big dogs tall dogs thin dog small dog so many types of dogs are there the dogs i know have many sets some are big and tall you see some are this dog is big and tall big and tall some are big and tall some are long and some are thin some are long and some are thin some are fat and small okay you see some dogs are long dogs you see this is a long dog some dogs are long and some are thin and some are thin you see this is a thin dog some dogs are thin and some are fat and small you see this dog is fat and small and some are so thin that they seem to have no sap at all but and some are so thin that you see this dog is so thin and some dogs are so thin that they don't look to have some shape just like very thin okay now students we will discuss some questions and we will answer them question number 1 what is the poem about what is the poem about the poem is about dogs next question number 2 who is i in the first line you see this is first line who is i yes who is i here i is the poet we can write the poet next question number 3 which words in the poem tell about the shapes of dogs we can say which words tell about shapes you see big 
tall, long, thin, fat, small. These are the words that tell about shapes. We can write big, tall, long, thin, here fat and small. These words tell about the shapes of dogs. Next question. Question number four. Who is they in the last line? You see, last line, there is a they. What is this? They for, they for thin dogs, very thin dogs. We can say thin dogs. Next, question number five. Do the thin dogs seem to have shapes? You see here. They are so thin that they seem to have no shape at all. They seem no shape at all. The answer is no. Question number six. Does the poet love dogs? Yes, the poet loves dogs. We can say yes. The poet loves dogs. The students, we will discuss some more questions now. Now tell me how many lines are there in this poem? How many lines? We will count. You see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 lines are there in this poem. We can write 8 lines. Next, which line talks about many shapes? Which line? You see many shapes. Here, many shapes. Which line? Yes, one, two means first and second. We can say second line. Second line. Next, where is big and tall? Show me. Where is big and tall? Yes. Big and tall. Which line? One, two, three. Means first, second, third. We can say third line. In third line. Next. Which line talks about thin? Very thin, you see? Yeah, thin. Which line? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. We can say fifth line next let's underline so thin you find very so thin you make underline in your poem so thin yes so thin now no shape where is no shape you show in your book no shape yes here, no shape. Next, fat and small. Where is fat and small? You show me. Yes, you got it. Fat and small. Okay. Now, we will answer some comprehension questions. You tell me question number one. The dogs have what? One shape, two shapes, three shapes, many shapes. Which one is correct? Oh, many shapes. Yes, many shapes. Next, which of the following describes only about the shapes of dogs? You see, which of the following describe only about the shapes of dogs? Red and bright? No. White and tall? No, in our poem, big and tall, yes, big and tall. Next, yes, 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फाइन दी ऑड वन आउट विच इज नॉट मैचिंग ऑड वन मीन्स नॉट मैचिंग यू सी थिन स्मॉल फैट सेप विच वन ये इट इज सेप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर विच पेयर ऑफ वर्ड्स पेयर विच पेयर ऑफ वर्ड्स हैज बीन यूज इन द पोएम विच पेयर यू सी बिग एंड स्मॉल फैट एंड थीन टॉल एंड शॉर्ट बिग एंड टॉल बिग एंड स्मॉल बिग एंड स्मॉल वन टाइम इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फैट एंड थीन फैट एंड थीन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टॉल एंड शॉर्ट नो सो एग्जैक्ट इज बिग एंड टॉल ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Which dogs seem to have no shape at all? Which dogs have no shapes? Very thin. We can say thin dogs. Options are there: tall, thin, fat, and big. But they are very thin or thin dogs. So exact answer is thin. So students, what we learned today? We learned about different types of dogs and enjoyed the poem so this much is for today bye bye